Hello, this is a gross pathology specimen taken from a breast and um, let's turn this around. So what we're looking at is the cut surface. So we can actually recognize some fatty tissue here and here, which are the yellowish areas. The color has changed a little bit because of prolonged fixation in formalin. Now, when we look at the cut surface, uh, there are some features to note. First of all, you can see this whitish appearance here. And these are areas of sclerosed or fibrosed stroma. In between this, we can see the fatty or adipose stroma, which is normal in the breast. In addition, we can also see these kind of pale brownish rounded spaces. And these are cystic spaces. In the fresher specimen, uh, before these spaces were cut open, they may have appeared somewhat bluish because of the turbid fluid that they contained. So here we have an example of fibrocystic change in the breast, and this is a benign condition. It is characterized clinically by firmer areas on palpation and also radiographically by some areas that appear a little bit denser and also by cystic areas with or without the presence of calcifications. Histologically, usually we would see three main changes. Uh, we can see the formation of cysts, as you can appreciate here. So the cysts may be lined by flattened epithelial cells, or in this instance, you can actually appreciate the cells are quite pink. And this is evidence of metaplastic change known as apocrine metaplasia. So that is very common uh, in the cyst lining cells in fibrocystic change. The second element that we see is an increased uh, pink area of the stroma, and this is stromal sclerosis or fibrosis. This sometimes may be due to a reaction to ruptured cysts. And the third feature is that of adenosis, and this is defined as increased numbers of small gland profiles or an increase in the number of SNI in a single lobule. So these three components together make up the histologic findings in fibrocystic change. This is a benign change, and it is not associated with a significant increased risk of malignancy. What we would want to look out for microscopically would be any architectural or cytologic atypia, and those may be associated with an increased risk of malignancy. However, if there is no significant atypia, the risk is as it would be in a normal breast.